staying with elections now. And, you know, it's nine days left for Ghanaians to go to the polls to elect the new leaders to see the affairs of the nation. Some residents of Cape Coast say the current economic status and the state of development in the region is what will, uh, will, they will consider in deciding who to vote for to be their next member of parliament or the country's president. Thomas Khan has been engaging with a number of them uh, and been gauging their mood as well ahead of the elections. Let's try and connect with him right now to get an understanding of what they've been telling him. Uh, Thomas, talk to us. Uh, the number of people you've spoken to, what are they telling you? Well, Mama, so what they are telling me is that we are going to consider the current economic status Thomas, uh, it does appear there's a challenge being able to, to hear you properly, but let's take a listen to what they've been telling uh, Thomas, and then perhaps we, we can try and get a better audio connection to Thomas Khan. Uh, here's what the residents of Cape Coast have been telling him. In the, in the world, like a few days, me to and then they say to come one and about to and I about to come to the mini pop. to you are bad, no, you don't have a good and so, uh, unfortunately, just one person appears to be a challenge in being able to properly get access to Thomas Khan. It will take us on to uh, our next break for the bulletin. When we return, a bit more stories for you here on New Central. Please do stay. <laughs>